What's up, y'all? Welcome into the first little installment of me catching up on what I've missed in K-pop. Um, this backlog goes on for years, if we're being honest, but just in terms of me actually being involved and active, the last couple months, I've not really been in tune with what's been released. Like, I've seen it, but I haven't heard anything. Um, so yeah, we're going pretty far back. I think in this one we have an RM song from his, I suppose, recent album, his latest album. Um, we have, I don't know what we have. That's kind of the beauty of this. It's a bunch of different random clips. It's from groups that I've either been interested in, like have liked in the past, or I've never heard of, and I saw some good reaction to it. So I just uh, had some interest. I figured, you know what? I need to get back into this little groove. Uh, and I've been looking for some more stuff to listen to. So yeah, I'm really excited about to spread my wings and really <laughs> get out there when it comes to K-pop. So let's get into it. This is, oh, let me do some preamble. Lucky Girl Syndrome by Illit. Did you guys might like their little uh, magnetic song? Cause I, I did, it was very poppy and nice and sweet. It wasn't crazy, but this is like, I think their first comeback, this was, this is, again, this is, four months ago a, a third of a year ago but mic's very close i'm sorry like i don't know interesting because I, I genuinely have not heard any of these songs and they're all old like old old now at this point let's listen to this i'm expecting very bright poppiness <laughs> Minute is this song is two minutes and twenty five seconds long. A nameless, faceless boy reaching the hand out. I'm not gonna lie. I like that. Uh, they're very, they're super poppy. Um, I don't know. I think they're, I think they're like a survival show or like some kind of show that created them. Cause I remember the release of the name was like not controversial, but it was like a source of memes and stuff. It's nice. I, this is, this fulfills my, th okay. I'm not gonna, I don't know if they sound the same cause I don't listen to enough Stacy, but when I listen to Stacy's music, I'm like, oh, this is so bright and wonderful and sweet. <laughs> like, I love listening to it. I'm kind of getting that vibe from this. And it's really nice. I don't have much else to say because I don't know anything about the group. But I'm, I just want to continue wrapping all of these these sounds into onto the channel. And kind of like starting to adventure out. Because it was really nice. They're two for, well, I don't know if they've come out with anything after this. But in terms of like singles slash soundtracks or whatever, I like both of them quite a bit. Now, massive tone shift. RM, uh... I don't remember what the album was called again because this came out a while ago. 
but this i heard something from it unfortunately i was watching and a clip of an anthony fantano um live stream and he was reacting to the album this the rms album and i was like hmm it's interesting that this is like this crossover is interesting so i listened to one song i think it was a song with little sims because i remember hearing that name and i was like this is interesting so i just i chose a random one i haven't heard this yet uh he seems to have a like vision for creating music when it's on his own and it's very interesting like gen actually interesting not just like oh that's interesting or whatever the stupid shit i say so it's, this is called come back to me five minutes god damn bro twice as long as the other one can't take it. Everyone in Korea is going to lose it now. I told you I'm fine and I stay good. Spring's always been hit. I will sleep in her eyes. Come back to me. Like Voice is very interesting. You used to do. His voice feels so heavy. You don't have to be. You don't have to be the anything you say. Try not to be. Try not to be that something in this say. Come back to me like you used to. Now I could say what a life is about. I told you I'm fine and I stay good. Springs always been hit. I will sleep in her eyes. <laughs> You don't have to be You don't have to be the anything you say Try not to be Try not to be that something in this say I told you I'm fine and I stay good Springs always been hit I will sleep in her eyes
that was good as hell. That was worth every single second of the five minutes that it took up. I I won't say I didn't expect this because I I don't know I don't I didn't I've never listened to real BTS ever, and their solo projects have all been so different and different pointed. Like I've heard more of their solo stuff than any of the group stuff. Um, this is good. This is like. Damn, I gotta collect my thoughts because I I will say I, halfway through the song, I was like, I really like it, especially when uh it builds up to the I guess the chorus, like the where the instrumentation really comes in. The whistling in the background, I think it's necessary to keep like the the levity of the song. Like it's this isn't a song that's not it's not a depressing song. It's not like this super heavy like his voice is super heavy, but it's supposed to play off of that voice. When I hear whistling in songs, I automatically think it's corny. And even though the second half of this song, and especially this last little bit where it just kind of keeps replaying, it's so good. Like, it, I really, really love that. The whistling just takes me out. Like, even if it was the same exact melody being played by the whistle, but it wasn't whistling sounds, I don't know. It just, it just, I can't think of whistling like well <laughs> in songs, but. This is really, really good. I might, I, I might have to go back and check out this whole album because I've heard one song that was like interesting, sounded good, and I'm the creative direction was really inspired. This I actively love. I really, I think I might have to come check it out. This is also a reason why I wanted to expand a little bit and like start doing this kind of catch up and pull pieces because I want, I, I wanted to be excited by something. This was super exciting. Damn, I respect because I know he's, or I shouldn't say I know. From what I understand, he is like involved with production and writing basically every BTS song. Um, if anyone knows, you can correct me. So like, I know he has that ear for producing and creating his own music. So this is super, super cool. Um, yeah. All right. Immediately already worth doing this. This is a genuine hit to me. From RM to BM, we're going to Nectar. I fuck with BM heavy. I'm gonna, it's, th this song's gonna be interesting. Jay Park's featured. Okay, let's get into it. I do kind of feel like I know what I'm gonna get. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Take it down, down, make a spread wide. Give me one taste of your nectar. Or Peter, I'm going to check up. Did you not drink up the time in the jet tone? Look, I don't like pausing. I'm going to say this just as a flat statement. It's not my place whether to say what is, a, what is appropriate or what isn't when it's not from my culture. It's crazy hearing these type of beats. This, the influence of like the general Afrobeats musical movement that's come generally. I know there's specific genres that I don't know how to like parse. Like I don't know how to specify, so I won't get into it. I think this sounds really good. I'm not going to lie. But I, but it's not, I don't know. <laughs> but I think this sounds really good. See some collector. I'm trying to get, get close to you, babe. One on the one in me. My girl get to John ARG. Because that's crazy. I'll show you something different if you let me in. See it in the eyes, she witty. Jiggy, we could get lost in the city. She ain't like them other little bitties. She the one I wanted too many. Hop out of the red dot. Is this his normal voice? I've never listened to any of these songs. Love that bass. I'm 
ready for the ride. I know Jay Park is a controversial figure. I don't know why, so please let me know. I'm not going to say anything about him or his character. I, I don't know. Fucking whatever. People, uh, maybe people just think he's cringe. Whatever. All I got to say is, I, I really like the way he sounds. This whole sound is nice. I don't know, man. This is cool. I'll let other people more qualified handle it. I'm gonna listen to this. Yeah, I mean, this is just good. I know he had a solo project. I probably gotta check that out. Not probably, I do. And Card just recently came out with something. That, okay, like when I think about this song and then like a song that I actively really dislike despite his popularity, uh, Smart by La Seraphim. I love La Seraphim, but that song felt so hollow. Like there was nothing to it. And this song, again, I don't, like, it's a different types, they're attacking different sounds, but it's similarly, like, approaching a song that's just straight up not <laughs> Korean, and it's, like, kill, like, to me, it just, I don't know, it just feels so much more of substance, even though it's pretty general, it just feels like there's so much more. So, yeah, I, I fuck with it. I love BM. I'm biased, one, because I think he's cool, but two, because he did, like, a back home vlog. I know he's from Southern California. But, like, he, he was at a place, like, at a golf range. Like, I think like he was leaving the parking lot. I was like, holy shit, that is 10 minutes away from my house. So he's, like, he's from, like, where I'm from, like, actively. And I was like, damn, this is kind of sick. So I fuck with it. Like, I just got that that bias with them. Um, but, yeah, fuck, I fuck with BM. Three interesting songs. Three all sounded different. Really glad I got to do this.